Welcome to Shenzhen, the Silicon Valley of China. Today, I'm going to take a ride with a completely driverless mobile taxi driving on regular public roads. Let's go. And here it comes. The fully driverless mobile taxi is making a U-turn to come and pick me up. As we can see, the AutoX self-driving system is completely integrated within the vehicle platform. And this is why I can put my luggage here without any problems. This is a level 4, a level 5, fully driverless robot taxi from AutoX, the leading self-driving car company in China. This is a Chrysler Pacifica minivan equipped with high-resolution cameras, high-resolution lighters, and long-range radars. Because it is a fully driverless vehicle, the car also has a surrounding blind spot perception system on each side of the car, including both wide-angle lighters and cameras. Here is the button to open the door. Now I'm inside the self-driving car. The driver's seat is empty. The passenger seat is empty. The second and third rows are all empty. I'm in the car all by myself. This is so nice. Okay, now I'm all buckled up and I'm going to click the button to go. Okay, it's letting me close the door. I'm going to click this button and the door will close. Now we have switched the gear from P to D and the handbrake is off. Now we're driving completely driverlessly. I feel like the car's driving really stably and I have a good feeling about this. And through the, through the screen I can actually see that there are some 3D models of uh, nearby surroundings that can show me what the road looks like without having to look at the front window. Ooh, now we saw some pedestrians biking across and now we're avoiding them. Safety, hygiene, privacy, you have it all in this car. By the way, Auto X's robot taxi is also the first fully self-driving car in the world that preserves the moonroof. You can open the sliding panel to see the sky. It feels so nice during winter to enjoy the sunshine. And you could also adjust the temperature from the AC panel right here. Feel free to help yourself. Now we're trying to turn right. And as you can see, we can see a pedestrian trying to cross the road. And our robot taxi has determined that. So it's made a pause and now it's kept going. Now we've entered the main road in Pingshan called Danzi Dadao. With a speed limit of 40 kilometers, we have now reached 40 kilometers per hour. Now we've bumped into a situation where there's a car stopping on the side of the road, which is very, really, really common in China. There we go. <laughs> bye bye. Now a robot taxi is turning into a rather narrow road with a stop sign. Now we've bumped into a very common situation in one of these narrow roads in China. Now we have a big truck stopping right in front of us and our robot taxi has carefully and smartly made a choice to go on the opposite lane. go around and bypass these cars. Now this is definitely a required skill to drive in China.
Here we're entering another left turn situation where it's unprotected. Now we can see that we've got this car coming across, which is a delivery truck. We've got another home car. And also we've got a situation going across. So our car right now is trying to work out the best timing to perform the, uh, to perform the left turn. Now it's made the pause because we have a bike going in front of us. Now immediately after the turn, our car makes a side pass to go around the blue truck parked in the lane. And then an orange delivery truck starts to pull over and occupy the portion of our lane. Our car wants to nudge but has to yield to another white delivery van rushing by on our left. Now this is a very interesting situation and the car drove just like a human driver. Because this is a fully driverless car, what happens if you have some questions? Well, here is a help button that you can press when you have any questions and a remote customer service will get in touch with you. Let's try and see what happens. It says that the system is connected to customer service. Now, a human support agent has picked up the call. Let me say hi to her. Hello, A very nice lady said welcome to me. I'm going to say thank you to her and let her go back to work. Bye bye. Here we're stopping at an intersection and I can see some kids. <laughs> Let me say hi to them. <laughs> they're glancing at our car because they're like, why is there no one driving? I'm really enjoying this, this full view of the sky right here because we have this beautiful window panel and it really is just beautiful light, especially now that it's in the afternoon. We'll have really warm and beautiful sunlight. Now, the car's telling me that I'm arriving at my destination. The destination I chose was Evergrande Vehicle Research Center. Now the self-driving car is leaving by itself, going to pick up the next passenger. Everything is automatic, without any human driver. Now this is a totally eye-opening experience for me. AutoX's cutting-edge technology impresses not just me, but also the Shenzhen Pingshan government authority to allow them to open up driverless rights to the general public. This is the first time ever in China that we could request a completely driverless robot taxi on public roads. The future is here. Please come to Shenzhen to experience AutoX's fully driverless robot taxi. Scan the QR code here to get started.